Thanks. Well, in just over 48 hours, fans are going to pack One Oak Field for the opening day for the Tulsa Drillers. The team tells us in the event of severe weather, they do have space to keep everyone safe. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live to show us some of the safety measures. Dan? Yeah, well, you know, this area down here is expected to be pretty crowded come Thursday night. Everyone down here is hoping the rain stays away, but if it comes, they say they will be prepared. Opening day is just about here. I've been doing this a long time. And if anyone knows the ropes around the ballpark, it's Linda Kenworthy. I do a little bit of everything. She's pulled the tarp, served food, prepped the stadium. Um, I've been here since 1989. She's seen a lot of baseball. There was opening day, 89. My first one, I was really nervous. There was also that year, storms rolled through the old Driller Stadium. We had people in the concession stands, we had people in the restrooms. That's not ideal, but when the show's outside, weather plays a role. It always does. It always does. Driller's general manager Mike Malega knows Oklahoma weather can change in a heartbeat, so he keeps a close watch on the sky. We take every precaution to warn our fans in advance, but we do have the facilities should something happen while we're here playing. If severe weather hits, Mike tells me there is space in the concession stands, restrooms, and beneath the stadium to keep a capacity crowd, more than 7,800 fans, safe. But right now, you hope you have a great crowd. The focus is on Thursday, game day. There's a lot to do, a lot to get ready for. And a lot waiting. Dollar beer. <laughs> for the fans. Now, tickets for Thursday night's game, as well as many other games, are still available. You can pick them up over here at the box office, or you can follow the link from our website. That's KJRH.com. Live in downtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.